Hello, my name is Caleb, and I'm making a tutorial video for you today on how to edit, update, and manage the section on your website that shows your staff. So this is a specific um, module, so I wanted to just walk through it, even though it's super easy. Um, so I've logged into the site already, and I'm going to go to the page that contains the staff. So, or usually it'll be like our team, our le you know leadership. Depending on the template you have, it might say different things. So, um, the basic layout for each individual member of your team is going to be a photo, their name, their title. Uh, you can add a description. I'll show you. And then if you want to link to their social medias, you can. And you can also take them away. So let's get into it. Uh, once you're on the page, let's go to Enable Visual Builder. And this is going to open up the Divi Builder, which is what your website was built using. Um, when you hover over a specific module, you should see a gray line outlining it. Um, you'll see there's one, two, three. So um, let's click on this guy. So when I clicked on it, it came up with this gray box and the gray box um, lets you change things about the module so we want to click on the gear the gear is the module settings um, you can it's, it's all pretty self-explanatory once you're in here um, it might look like this when you open it up and all you need to do is open the text so you know if you change this it changes his name um, we could change this to like um, most best pastor. That's his title. Uh, is and so this is where you would uh, paste your URL for the Facebook profile. So you'd go to his Facebook profile. You'd copy the URL that's right here, and you'd paste it. So right now, because I have these pound signs, the hashtags, it thinks there's a link, even though this will go nowhere. But if you don't want to link to them and you don't want them to see them, you can delete the text that's there and they just go away. So if you type anything in here, they'll show up. Um, and you can see there's a few other ones and they'll come up with, you know, specific uh, icons. If you want to type in a description, here, let me leave these so you'll see what order they're in. Um, He's the most best. So that, that's how it'll look. Um, you know, and this is like a normal word editor, so you could make it italic or if you wanted. Um, so now that we've got the text, if you want to change the image, you gotta click on the image tab. So in here, all you would do is click on it, and that's gonna bring up your media library. So any images you've had updated or you've you've um, uploaded will be in here. So if you haven't uploaded it already, you can drag your file into here and then you would click on it and say upload image. Um, one thing I would suggest, um, and if I built your website, I've told you this in the email, is to keep all the images the exact same size. So um, let me close this for a second. You, you can see these are all the same width and they're all the same height and this is important because if let's say Stephen Floyd's was longer all of this would look really uneven um, and so if you've got a, you know a savvy person at your church that can make sure they're all the same ratio um, that'd be great um, if not just crop them all square square looks great and um, then they'll all be the exact same size so Let's click back into here. We're going to go to image. So we showed you how to do that. I wouldn't change anything else really. Um, if you wanted the images to be different, this rounds the corners. So you could type in 10 and you can see the corners got rounded. If you typed in 100, whoops, it would make it even more and 
like a uh, hundred, two, maybe two hundred would maybe make a circle. <laughs> uh, whoops. If you want it to be a circle, you're going to want your image to be like, you know, the face in the center. You can see it kind of is weird, but um, so <laughs> my computer is just playing music. Right. It's a throwback, right? Um, so that is how you edit the image corners. I wanted to see if there was one thing. So um, one thing I don't like is that these are both the same. So if we wanted to change the body, oh, this is all of it. Okay. We're kind of learning together. This is a web development. If you want to change something about the title text, you can see that um, you can either click on this and it'll bring you right to it and this should change just the title so if you go into design and then you go to title text that'll change that it looks like these two things are going to be all body text so they're going to look the same no matter what but that's okay great and that's that's it so it's super simple and uh, I hope this tutorial helped you um, if not, if you still have any questions, feel free to email Isaac or me. Great. Have a great day.